Hey, I'm Nikki. I'm the founder of Codemakers, and in this video, I wanted to explain a little bit more about our online introductory Minecraft modding class, including how it works, what equipment you need, and just all the juicy details that I know parents like to know before booking in. I started Codemakers a few years ago in order to share my passion for coding with millions of kids around the world. And in this introductory class, your child will get to code their very first Minecraft mod together with a teacher and some classmates and then test it out in a Minecraft world together. So as well as being really, really fun, there's also a lot of learning involved too. Okay, so firstly, let me explain what Minecraft modding actually is. Basically, Minecraft mods are bits of computer code that modify the original behavior of your child's Minecraft game. So for example, normally in Minecraft, when your child breaks a block, nothing happens. But then they can write a little bit of code that now tells the computer, when I break a block, I want you to strike some lightning and create a lava effect. And voila, that's what happens. It is hands down the best method I've come across for allowing children to express their creativity whilst learning one of the most in-demand skills of the 21st century, coding. In this class with your child, we will code some arrows that strike lightning and teleport us to another location in the Minecraft world. And then next we'll make some exploding snowballs which are great for mining diamonds and just generally being a little bit destructive. And then finally we will make some eggs that then set off fireworks. If there's a little bit of time left over, the teacher can work with your child to customize their own mod a little bit and maybe they make their eggs set off 10 fireworks, create an explosion, strike 7 bolts of lightning, just generally do something really crazy. When you book into the class, we'll create a Codemakers account for your child in our online software. You'll need to allow maybe 15 to 20 minutes to follow a few simple instructions and download the correct version of Minecraft and just make sure that it's all set up properly. And then before the class, you just log in and join the video call where the teacher will be waiting for your child. Each class will have between one to four children in it, so your child might be joined by some other Minecraft loving kids. And so they're going to be writing code in their Codemakers account and then they jump into Minecraft and they're all running around together, the teacher and the classmates, testing out that code. I generally recommend this class for children aged between 8 to 12 years old and they can be complete beginner coders or have done some coding before. Now I do get a lot of questions from parents of 7 year old or younger kids who love Minecraft and are really excited about doing this class. And yes, they are welcome to book in, but for younger children I'd really just recommend that a parent is able to sit next to them and supervise them during the class because sometimes they can just get a little bit stuck with some basic computer controls. In order to attend this class from home, you're going to need a few pieces of equipment. Firstly, a computer. So it can be a laptop or a desktop computer, but unfortunately an iPad or a tablet is just not going to be sufficient in order to attend this class. Secondly, you're going to need some way of talking to the teacher. If you have a microphone built into the computer, which most modern computers do have, that's perfectly fine. A step up from that would be, say, earphones with a little microphone uh, attached to it. Or the best option, if you do have one available, is a headset like this. If you don't have that lying around the house, don't stress out, don't worry about it. Just use what you do have, as long as there is a way of talking to the teacher. And finally, you're going to need to install Minecraft for Mac PC, Java Edition, on that computer. Now, the reason we need this particular version of Minecraft is because it's the only version of Minecraft that allows you to run Minecraft mods on it. This version is absolutely free to download and install, so I'll provide you with instructions and links in order to do that, and then you're gonna to need to log in to the account in order to actually play the game and we'll just lend you a login to that so that you can get in without having to buy your own license because it doesn't make much sense to buy a license just to attend one class. Or if you do have your own license, you're welcome to use that as well. I've never met a child who hasn't absolutely loved this introductory class and I've designed it so it's just a really fun, 
good introduction to coding your own Minecraft mods. Now, if they are excited to learn more after they've done this class, then they're welcome to join one of our 10-week programs. So with this 10-week program, it's like any other after-school activity. And as a parent, you just pick a particular class time, say Wednesdays at 5 p.m., and then at the same time each week, your child logs in and attends their class with the teacher and their classmates. And they code a different Minecraft mod each week. So they get to express their creativity whilst learning one of the most in-demand skills of the 21st century and practicing their math, their logical thinking, their problem-solving skills and a whole bunch of other things as well. I get a lot of parents emailing me just telling me how much that this has improved their child's confidence, their problem-solving skills, how much of an impact they've seen in their child's schoolwork, which is very rewarding for me. I love hearing that. Um, and so I wanted to let you know about this program, just so you know what's next to go on to if your child loves this introductory class. And you can check out more information about that on our website and see if it's right for your child. Booking this class is simple. In our online booking form, you can just select a class time, complete your details, complete payment, and then your child is all booked in. Now, if you don't see a class time that suits you and your child, just get in touch with us and let us know when you are available because we are teaching kids literally all across different time zones around the world. So we do our best to schedule, but um, if you want a particular time, just let us know so we can do our best to accommodate that. Once you've booked in, you should receive an email confirmation along with setup instructions on how to get ready for the class. In the setup process, you are going to need to install this particular version of Minecraft on your computer. So please don't leave this to the last minute just in case you have a slow internet connection as it does take a bit of time to download. And once it's downloaded, you just need to click a few things to set it all up uh, and so you're all ready for the class. Now I know that sometimes unavoidable things happen, like your child gets sick the day of the class or your computer decides to die right before the class is about to start. So if something like this pops up, just let us know as soon as you can and be respectful of our time and we'll gladly reschedule and see if you can attend at another time. Or if for whatever reason your computer completely dies and there's no chance that you'll be able to attend at all, we'll just offer you a refund for that. The other thing is, and I've never seen this happen, but if your child does attend the class and for whatever reason doesn't like it, just let us know within three days and I'll gladly offer you a refund for that. And really appreciate any feedback that you have about how we might be able to approve. So basically there's no risk to you. If your child doesn't attend the class or doesn't like the class, then I'll gladly offer you your money back. So hopefully this video has laid out all the details that you'd like to know about our introductory class. But if there's something that I've missed or something extra that you want to know, you can get in contact with our live chat widget on the website or just email us at hello at codemakers.io. We're really looking forward to seeing your child in one of our classes so we can code some exploding snowballs, our teleporting arrows, and our eggs that set off fireworks and really share our passion for coding with your child. So just click that book now button, get them all booked in, and we'll see them in class soon. Bye.